Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to your channel Maths D1 D2 Scientific Academy. Today our lecture is related to chapter 4 which is expansion and factorization of algebraic expressions. Uh, in new book, uh, it might be possible that the chapter uh, number is different but uh, the questions are same. Alright students, today I will explain you question number 4 of uh, exercise 4D. Okay, before starting the lecture, I will request you that if you want more help regarding your subject, then you can subscribe the channel. Okay, students, so question number four is factorize each of the following expressions completely. It means that we have to make the factors. Okay, so the first part is uh, x plus y, a plus b, minus y plus z and a plus b okay so this is the whole term and this is the whole term we can see that in these two terms a plus b is present so it means that we can take a plus b common because in this whole term a plus b is present and in this whole term a plus b is present so we can take a plus b common Okay, now what's left inside the bracket? We have taken a plus b common. So here x plus y is left. And minus sign. Okay, I have taken a plus b common. So here y plus z is left. Okay, so now we will open the brackets. Okay, G. so here I am going to raise these lines. I have underlined this just to explain you. Alright. Okay, students, now I am going to open the bracket a plus b okay this is x plus y okay here you can see that there is a minus sign outside the bracket so when i open the bracket signs inside the bracket will be changed so x plus y minus y this is plus z so it will become minus because there is a minus sign outside the bracket as you know that this is the rule that whenever you are having minus sign outside the bracket signs inside the bracket will be changed Okay, so one more thing you have to remember whenever you're having the same terms with opposite signs, so they will cut each other. Here you can see that both terms are y and they are having opposite sign. This is plus and this is minus. So they will cut each other. So what is left over here in the bracket? A plus B and X minus A. So this is your answer. Okay, so I hope that this is clear to you. And the first uh, the answer is A plus B and X minus A. So now let's come to B part. Okay, students, B part is C plus D, C plus 2D whole square. C plus 2D whole square minus C plus 2D and 3C minus 7D. 3C minus 7 Okay, so here you can see that this is the whole term and this is the whole term. So in these two terms, C plus 2B is common. C plus 2D is present over here and C plus 2D is present over here. But students so here you can see that here the power of C plus 2D is 2 and here the power is 1. As I have told you that whenever you take the common and uh, the things which you are taking common having power, so what you will take, you will take common with lower power. As here the power is 2 and here the power is 1. So you will take this common. So you will just take C plus 2D common. Okay. You will take the uh, term common with the lower power. So C plus 2D you will take common. Okay. What's left inside the bracket? Here this is 2 times. C plus 2D is 2 times. Here mean that the term is 2 times. So 1 you have taken common. 1 is left. So write that. C plus 2D. And then minus sign. Okay. C plus 2D you have taken common. What's left in this term? 3C minus 7D is left. So write down 3C minus 7D. Now solve it. I write this as it is C plus 2D. Okay. Now inside the bracket, open the bracket. Write this as it is C plus 2D. Now you are going to open the bracket. Students remember that whenever there is a minus sign outside the bracket. So the signs inside the bracket will be changed. So minus 3C, this minus will become plus. Plus 7D. Now we will solve it. Okay, students, remember that whenever you solve, always solve like terms together. First, write like terms together. This is C term and this is C term. Write them together. And this is D term and this is D term. So these two are the like terms. So write D terms together. Write like terms together. Now solve them. C plus 2D. 
Okay, so C minus 3, C, C minus 3, C plus minus is minus. So it means that you write the sign of the bigger number and you will do the minus. Here there is no coefficient, it means the coefficient over here is 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. And the variable is C. You have to write the sign of the bigger number. So this is 3 with 3 hits minus and so you write minus. And uh, this is plus 2 t and plus 70. Plus plus is plus and you will add 7, 8, 90. So C plus 2d minus 2c plus 90 is your answer. Okay, I'm going to raise this underline. Okay. So if you want to take the screenshot, you can take the screenshot of this question. Okay, so I hope that part B is also clear to you. Now let's move forward to C part. Okay, so C part is x to h minus k. x to h minus k plus 3y k minus 2h. Students see that here the brackets are almost same but uh, the signs are different here with 2h is plus sign here with 2h is minus sign here with k is minus sign and here with k is plus sign so what we need to do is we have to change this bracket like this we have to make this term like 2h minus k so there is a difference of sign so what i will do is i will take minus sign common over here i will take minus sign common from this bracket okay i'll tell you that how Okay, so when you will take minus common, so minus sign will come outside with 3y. So here, I will write minus 3y. I, over here, I have taken minus common from this bracket. So that's when this minus sign will come outside, that will be multiplied with 3y and it will become minus 3y. Okay, so now this term will be changed. It's k minus 2x. Now the signs inside the bracket, you have taken minus common. So the signs inside the bracket will be changed. With k, it will be minus sign and with 2h, it will be plus sign. So, you can write down the term like 2h minus k. Okay, so now in this whole term and in this whole term, you can see that 2h minus k is present. So, here you can take my 2h minus k common. Now, over here what's left, it's x is left, so write x and over here 3y is left, so write 3y. So, 2h minus k, x minus 3y is your answer. Okay. I hope that this is clear to you. I'm going to raise these underlines. Okay, so this is your answer. Now let's move forward to D part. I'm going to raise it. Okay, students, here you can see that uh, the part is 6x, 4m minus and minus 2y and minus 4m. Again, this is the same question as we have done in uh, part C. Uh, the difference is of sign here 4m minus n, but this is n minus 4m. Here the signs are different. So what can we do is we can take minus sign common. Okay, from here we will take minus sign common and when this minus sign will multiply with this minus sign, minus minus is plus, so it will become plus. So I'm going to take minus sign common from this bracket and I will write this term as it is. Okay, gee. now I'm going to take minus sign common. Here I can write like uh, minus sign like this. Okay, gee. I have taken minus sign common from this bracket like this and I now will change the sign because when you take minus sign common, signs inside the bracket will be changed. So with n it will be minus sign, with 4m it will be plus sign. So I can write down 4m minus n. Now these are two signs. This is the common sign which I we have taken common. I'm writing over here so that you get, do not get confused. Okay, six x four and minus n. Now minus minus is plus two y four and minus n. Now here you can see that four and minus n is present in this term and in this term. So we can take four and minus in common. 
Now over here, what is left? 6x is left, so I will write 6x. And over here, 2y is left, so I will write 2y. So 4a minus 10, 6x plus 2y. Okay, 6x plus 2y. Okay, students, one more thing. You can do one more thing. Okay, okay. Here in this bracket, we can see that 6 and 2, both numbers are divisible by 2. 6 and 2, both numbers are divisible by 2. I can take 2 common from this term. So what will be? Okay, I'm writing this term first like this. 4 kg. 4m minus n. And I'm taking common 2 from here. But I will not write 2 over here. I will write 2 at the start. I can write that because 2 is multiplying with the brackets. So I can write down 2 at the start and I'm taking 2 common from this bracket. So 2, 3 is our 6 and 2, 1 is our 2. So 2, 4m minus n, 3x plus y is your answer. I hope that this is clear to you. I am again telling you what I did in the last step. I have taken 2 common from this bracket. But, now when I write, but when I will write 2 over here, it is multiplying with the bracket. So I can write down at the start with the sequence. I can write down the answer with the sequence. What I did is I have written the answer with the sequence. So this is how you have to do the sums. And I hope that students, students lecture is clear to you. Uh, take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much. And Allah Hafiz.